a team of scientists, including many Nobel laureates at the publication, continue to reset the metaphorical clock annually, based on research and analysis compiled from the previous year's events. Three main reasons were cited for this year's move. The United States and Russia, which together possess more than 90% of the world's nuclear weapons, remained at odds in a variety of theaters, from Syria to Ukraine to the borders of NATO. Both countries continued wide-ranging modernizations of their nuclear forces and serious arms control negotiations were nowhere to be seen in 2016. North Korea conducted its fourth and fifth underground nuclear tests and gave every indication it would continue to develop their nuclear weapons agenda. Threats of nuclear warfare hung in the background as Pakistan and India faced each other warily after militants attacked two Indian Army bases. Donald Trump became U.S. President and made disturbing comments about the use and proliferation of nuclear weapons and expressed disbelief on the issue of climate change. Keeping future temperatures at less than catastrophic levels requires reductions in greenhouse gas emissions far beyond those agreed to in Paris. Yet, little appetite for additional cuts was in evidence at the November Climate Conference in Marrakesh. <laughs> Emerging technologies focus on the hundreds of millions of technology usage worldwide, rather than on governments and militaries as they have in the past. This makes the development of these technologies potentially far more dangerous. Technologies like autonomous vehicles, cyber technologies, and artificial intelligence. potentially poses.